six out of ten deaths can be prevented by giving first aid at the right time. If you think your child has fever, you can check the temperature with a digital rectal, oral, underarm, ear or forehead thermometer. You can consider your child to have fever if the rectal temperature is more than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees centigrade or if the oral temperature is more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 37.8 degrees centigrade or if the underarm temperature is more than 99 degrees Fahrenheit or 37.2 degrees centigrade. Do not use your thermometer below 6 months of age and oral thermometer below 4 years of age. Please avoid mercury thermometers because there is an inherent risk of breakage, spillage and inhalation of mercury vapors. So if the child is having fever and is feeling very uncomfortable or if the child is having high fever, give paracetamol as per the dose prescribed by the pediatrician or as per the dose mentioned on the label according to the weight of the child. Do not give ibuprofen or methanemic acid without checking with the doctor and do not give these medicines to any baby below 6 months of age without checking with the doctor. It's very very important. These medicines can cause gastritis and can suppress platelets and also methanemic acid can lower the threshold for seizures and seizures are very common below six years of age in children with fever. So please be thorough with first aid for seizures as well. You can sponge with lukewarm water on the forehead, in the groin, in the underarm area, on the neck. Do not use cold water to sponge the child and stop sponging if the child is uncomfortable with tepid sponging. When a child has fever, the appetite will be low, the digestion will be slow, so do not force food. The most important thing to do is to hydrate the child well. Offer good liquids like WHO recommended formula oral rehydration solution ORS, coconut water, buttermilk, plain water, lemonade etc. Do not offer liquids like glucose water, sugar water, honey water and certain ORS drinks which are not WHO recommended. Look at the child, how happy she is. All that you needed to do was to ensure appropriate temperature control and good hydration. The child looks sick refuses even to drink water, vomits continuously. Hands and feet become cold, the child becomes dull, drowsy, pale, irritable, lethargic. Or if the fever persists for more than 5 days or if the fever doesn't break at all, it's very important for the parent to take the child to the hospital.